projected economic development in Nigeria. Nigeria is now the extreme poverty capital of the world and also ranked 157 out of 189 countries on the Human Development Index of the United Nations Development Program, UNDP. From 87 Naira in 2015, 12 prizes now, 144 Naira and even higher in a few places in the country. In 2015, a bag of rice, 50 kg, was 8,500, but now sells for 17,500. Additionally, one bag of beans sold between 20 to 22,000 in 2015, but now sells between 30 to 39,000. Also, a bag of gari, gario, gari, 8 kg, now sells for 10,500 as against 7,000 in 2015. The prices of many more commodities have skyrocketed since the return of General Mohammed Buhari to power in 2015, and the common man has continued to suffer untold hardship ever since. Under his regime, Nigerian employment rates has ramped up to 18.80%, while youth unemployment rate has ramped up to 33.10%. These and other awful facts reflect the, currently real, the current reality of our economy. Widely apart from what General Mohamed Buhari promised before he was elected, and far from an indication of a country on the path to economic recovery. Thirdly, General Mohamed Buhari true branded and reformed demo, you know, branded a reformed democrat in 2015, has proven to the good people of Nigeria and indeed the world at large that once a tyrant is always a tyrant. So the incumbent regime has been exponentially inhumane and brutal. Apart from the obvious fact that General Mohamed Abouari has severely battered the dignity of Nigerian judicial system by not only invading the homes of judges in the middle of the night, but also saying recently that he believes the rule of law must be a subject to a vague national interest. <laughs> also, in befuddling why under the watch of General Mohammed Buhari, over 300 Shia members of the Islamic movement of Nigeria, IMN, were brutally massacred by soldiers of the Nigerian army and horridly buried in a mass grave between December 12th to December 14, 2015. As if that was not brutal enough, the General Mohammed Buhari regime has continued to keep the leader of the IMN movement, Sheikh Ibrahim Zamzaki, behind cold iron bars alongside his wife with bullets allegedly lodged in her body for over two years, disregarding the court order which ordered their release. Like Sheikh Zaki, the leader of the indigenous uh, people of Biafra, Aipo, Nnam Dekano, whose disappearance followed the invasion of his home in Omaha, has neither been accounted for by the Nigerian army, nor the commander in chief of the Nigerian armed forces. General Buhari. All attempts by concerned Nigerians to inquire into Kano's disappearance has proven frustratingly abortive, even as 114 courageous women of the IPO movement were terribly attacked and unlawfully detained under the dehumanizing condition in August 2018 in Oweri, Imo State. In not agreeing to restructure Nigeria, Buhari has failed. This is an incontrovertible fact known to the young and to the old that the Major General Mohammed Buhari has failed. Thank you. Great. You know, I would try as much as possible not to mise words. In as much as Nigeria is 58 years, honestly, 
What are we gathering to celebrate about? We live in a country where every second people die. People die from diseases that are preventable. Women die from giving birth. Children cannot go to school. Today, we have over 10 million out of school children. And let us go back memory lane. In 2014, we were given a fake hope. We were given hope that once President General Tyrant Muhammad Buhari comes into the office, Nigeria would be great again. But today, we're here shattered because there is no light in the end of the tunnel. Today, we don't even know if we would leave this hall and some pothole would not kill us. Or if we we'll rush to the hospital, we would actually get medication. Yeah. It is quite sad and unfortunate. But the shame is on all of us. Yes, so it is on us, the citizen. Yes. Is our mumu actually done? Yeah. Our mumu don't really do. Yeah. Nigerian people, now more than ever before, we must rise for our democracy. Yes. Because if we don't rise for our democracy, then we're not really independent. Mm -hmm. We can only enjoy independence when we can send children to school, mm -hmm. when pregnant women would give birth and we would rejoice, mm -hmm. when electricity would not go off mm -hmm. when we're having important discussion. Mm -hmm. My country people, mm -hmm. the deciding factor is now. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if you don't rise, then we will continue being a laughing stock. Our children would ask us questions. When I was younger, I was being told I am the future leader of Nigeria. Today, I'm over 30 years, and I have children. And my children, I tell them they are, the they are not the future leaders, they are the future of today. And for us to enjoy today and tomorrow, we must rise. Buhari has failed. Buhari has failed. Buhari is behind the kill in all our states in the name of either Buhari or Edmund was Buhari or Massacre in December 2015. Buhari ordered the Nigerian army to go to Shekinah and take the residents and kill his followers and kill him. They killed more than 1,000 followers of this great ship. They met him inside a room with his family. They killed three of his sons. They shoot his wife all over her body. They shoot him and pulled him out of his eye. They dragged his bleeding body on top of the corpses of his killed children and brought him down to Abuja. Mm. These people, they, there was a, an elder sister to shake him out as a judge about him. She was 78 years old. They locked her inside a room and said, Papa, until she died, it's a key for you. And all these things are done under the order of some very superpowers. Because uh, there is this Saudi Arabia, the, the crown prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman, says to the Time magazine, a uh, 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 newspaper in, in America, on the 21st, uh, April 2018, that part of the achievement of the Saudi Arabia in suppressing. Iranian influence in Africa was the attack, the killing of people in Zaria, and the detention of Sheikh Iran as the leader of the Islamic movement. So, Buhari has been. And the Islamic movement is a movement that is calling for justice in this country. So, thank you very much.